Good morning, everyone. It is January 20th, 20th on a Thursday. And it's like 8, 10 in the morning. I have class today, so I'm up early. You kind of know you're up early when the sun's like coming up over there. Like, probably be blinded, but yeah. So, uh, pretty much do the same thing I do every Thursday. Eat breakfast and go to class. And it's Kayla's turn again to drive, cause, and I drive tonight for our, our night class. So, that's about it. So, I got home from class, and I'm just kind of hanging out for my, have like a three hour break. And then leaving early today because me and Kayla want to go to Starbucks so we can get coffee so that we can make it through our night class, which is like three and a half hours of survey of the human body, which is like anatomy and physiology, possibly the most dry class ever because it's three and a half hours of lecture on all this stuff. There's no lab for the class and it's quite boring. So we barely made it through it last time. So we've decided coffee is probably a good answer. So we're getting coffee before so that we can make it through the class again. And um, that's pretty much gonna be my whole day. I'm eating mini egg rolls right now for lunch and that's pretty much it. So. Okay, so yesterday I forgot to check on the gingerbread houses to see if more of them were taken, if they were eaten by ants, etc., etc. And actually, everything is gone. Like you can see, there's little candies left and there's ants so I don't know if the ants ate them and there's beetles and stuff like and flies over there so I don't know if the ants ate them or if something came and took them well obviously something took two of them but the other three no idea because I forgot to check yesterday but yeah so that is my uh, general journey with the gingerbread house that I do every year so it's pretty fun to see. And that's kind of a Florida for you. And it's actually quite warm out today. Hence, t-shirt and shorts. Woo! Hey everyone. So, got home early from class tonight, which was awesome. Because we finished um, all the chapters for the test next week. And got home at like 8, which... It's fantastic. It's like an hour early. And, um, good story from class tonight. We were on break because in a three and a half hour class, you get like a 10 minute break, like halfway through. And me and Kayla are sitting in the classroom, just kind of hanging out, talking. And we, I had already shown her earlier when we first got to class, my um, thing in my purse, which they're advertised on TV and they're like organizers for purses that are basically like black holes, like big purses. And I had shown her previously and the teacher was like, oh, is that one of those purse organizers? And I was like, oh yeah. And, um, so during break, Kayla brought it up again and like was calling me like old grandma. And I was like, excuse me, nothing gets lost now, which I've had a problem with forever with like giant purses. And um, it was interesting because we had the whole class looking at us and like laughing at us picking on each other. And I was just like, other people can talk, stop staring. And then this one kid like proceeded to stare at us through the entire class, like the rest of the class. And it was kind of creepy, but yeah. So <laughs> that was my fun story from class. And that's about it. So I am now watching Bones. And that's pretty much the rest of my night. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. So good night.
Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, January 21st, and I don't have school today, so I don't really have much to do. I have a lot of um, homework and studying for tests next week, so that's pretty much going to be my day. And someone's supposed to come, I guess, mess with the air conditioning, and my voice is going all retarded. But um, I think I'm also fighting like a cold or something because my throat has been sore for the past couple days. My voice kind of does the in and out thing. But um, yep, that will be my day. So it rained already today. And uh, it's probably going to rain some more. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. It's supposed to be like a cold front coming through. And it looks like there's kind of, eh, over there. But Blue decided he was going to walk through the water and the dirt, and now he's over there. Staring at birds. Bluefish! Blue, come! He never listens when I record him, but as soon as I turn the camera off, he actually comes. Blue, come! Yeah, he doesn't want to listen today. This is Baby's perch. She goes up here when she's hiding from the dogs. <laughs> so she's just kind of hanging out there. So I just finished recording my um, tutorial for today. Started my Zodiac series. This is my Aries look because Aries colors are red, white, and black. And I'm in the process of going outside to take pictures. And of course, all the dogs have to come. Come on, Mayor. Max, are you coming? So I am doing that. And then I will start editing until the air conditioning guy gets here. So, and all the dogs are coming. Max and Blue. And Mary is debating because it's wet out. She doesn't like to get her feetsies wet. So I guess she's coming too. So. Hey everyone. So I'm just kind of hanging out, chilling in my house. My parents went out to dinner tonight. And um, I was watching Philip DeFranco's vlog channel. And in the end, he was talking about like thoughts on death, etc. Stuff like that. And I just thought, like, I would give my views because I'm doing dishes. Um, personally, my views on death. Well, some people have um, certain, I guess, religious reviews. Like, if you're Christian, you know, you go to heaven, etc. All that good stuff. If you're like an atheist, you don't really do anything. You just die in the ground and you stay there. Um, I am agnostic, which means kind of like, I think there's a possibility of God and everything. It's possible, but it's unknown. And you can't literally prove to me the existence of um, God or anything like that. And I haven't personally seen it. So I think when you die, it is possible that if there is a God, um, you could go to heaven. And some people believe in reincarnation, which actually was scientifically proven because like, I'm not going to go into that. If you took general biology one in um, college, you possibly your teacher might have touched on that. But, um, so possible to be reincarnated as something else and like your molecules from your body are absorbed into the soil and you go into something else. So that's a possibility. Um, I think there are a lot of possibilities, but no one directly knows, <laughs> which is kind of my look on everything is... You don't directly know what happens until you actually get there. And so those are kind of my views on death and 
all that good stuff. So anything is possible, but yeah. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here tonight because nothing else is really going to happen. So I'm going to edit early and upload, upload. And for some reason, my vlogs have been taking like a complete entire day to process on YouTube, which is really making me mad. So hopefully it will not take as long, but yeah. So good night, everyone.